My career is everything to me, but what about my starfish? Christ, Ian. How long have you been in there? I need to take a shit. Hey, dude. Hey. You got a moment? For you and your nipples and your happy trail and that stomach, I'll have... I need it. Hmm. Yeah, I have a moment. Hey, guys. Welcome to Coming Out on Top Like a Motherfucking Fistin' Pro. Read the warning, just in case you've never seen this before, because it, it gets a little... Factual. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Factual. This is my factual voice. <laughs> it's my bedroom voice. So today we're going to carry on with a story. There was one of you guys, Clint, on Twitter, thank you for the heads up, telling me that I'd missed something. I was debating whether or not to go back and do it now, but I think I'll do it in the next playthrough. You'll definitely see it, don't worry. It will be on camera. <laughs> Hopefully I'll do it in the next playthrough. Jesus. If not. I'll definitely check it out anyway. Somehow. Where well, there's a will, there's a way. You know? <laughs> Alright, Monday. Jesus, I saved, sorry, I saved over my, my lord. Instead of lording it, I saved the game. And I had to replay shit again. But don't worry, I did everything the same. <laughs> Looks like a busy week ahead. You have an oral presentation. <laughs> Sounds tasty. <laughs> Before long, it's time for your next anatomy lecture. The stomachs and ropes. So my vocal cords, apparently. <laughs> You're vaguely aware that Alex is lecturing you about the digestive system. Sexy. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You can almost feel your IQ dropping slowly. All you can think about is what happened in the locker room. Mm. You realise you're going to have to get some extra study in just to overcome these distractions. 90 minutes later. God, it's a long ass lesson. Nips, bungle hole. <laughs> Have a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm suddenly talking like that now for my, my, my nips. My nips. Great. Let's head to my office. <laughs> oh, no, guys. I really wanted to talk to you about Saturday nips. Your heart starts to pound. I bet it does. Shit. Alex lets out a deep sigh. I did a lot of mulling over. Really? Good for you. The fault was mine, and I accept full responsibility. Well, isn't he an adult teacher man? I shouldn't have let it get to that point. I mean, that, that was a sexy bruise, though. I can't tell you how disappointed I am with myself. I know I'm disappointed, too. You should have fucked me in the locker room. <laughs> if I've led you on in any way, Nips, I'm sorry. I want to clarify. Nothing can happen between us. Not now, not ever. I feel a weight drop between the two of you. Like a giant boulder crushing your dreams. <laughs> You're crushing my fucking dreams. Oh, I see. I understand. But I thought we had more going on. Why the worry? Nobody has to know. I'm scared that if I say that to him, it's not going to happen. So apparently I do still have time to play the field a little. Until it starts warning me. Fuck it. Let's do it. Why the worry? Teacher man, teach me all you know, sir. My career is everything to me, but what about my starfish? <laughs> Alex sighs. You know, I think this meeting was a bad idea. I'm getting a semi. There's so many... Oh, there are people in my department who would love to know I've slipped up somehow. It's okay, we won't tell them. I don't like to gossip. I'm not a gossip. I've already jeopardized myself more than once of you since I've started here. Looking back, I can't believe I let it happen. Oh, but I can. Look at me. My chiseled jaw and my... My chiseled jaw. Well, maybe you want it more than you care to admit. This was a bad idea. This discussion is over. You reach for the door. You jerk back as the door suddenly opens on its own. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, it's this douche. Oops. Didn't realise I was interrupting something. Oh, is this is this another teacher at the school? Is this your ex? The door was halfway open. I thought it was uh, open office hours. What do you need, Graham? <laughs> I'm proposing a faculty meeting at the end of the month to allow us to um, review all its policies with regards to the faculty's code of conduct. Code of conduct? The ethical standards we, as professors, purport, purport to uphold throughout our careers at this fine institution. And there's something else I wanted to discuss with you as well. Nips, excuse me, but I need to speak with Graham in private. 
Sure. I was just leaving. Taking my starfish with me. Holy shot. What was that about? I have no idea, Nips. No clue. But now it's Wednesday. It's hump day. As you start to wonder why Penny hasn't met up with you for lunch, you realise you have an unread text. Meet me at Ho Ho's Cafe. Ian says I have extra sandwiches. Oh, I'm there. Are they free? I'm definitely there. You head out, anxious and afraid of what may or may not develop. Oh, don't tell me. He who shall not be named is there. The cafe awaits. The promise of free sandwiches, singing a siren song to your color, 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 white budget, to your poor man's wallet. You are unable to fully focus on the free meal awaiting you as a me- as as you, Jesus, as you remember the menacing look in Graham's eyes. Menacing? The guy has a calm over. He couldn't be menacing if he tried. Jeez, Nips, took you long enough. What's going on, dude? You look stressed. Explain what's been happening between you and Alex. <gasps> Fuck that. Ask about the sandwiches. <laughs> what I'd really like to talk about are those sandwiches. I'm fucking starving. Oh, yeah. Ian accidentally made a whole batch of sandwiches unfit for vegan consumption this morning. <laughs> Totally, it was not my fault. I thought they wanted extra bacon. Someone got the orders mixed up. Yeah, vegans love bacon. <laughs> that someone being you, Ian? Anyways, why would a vegan sandwich have extra bacon? Uh, I don't know, because it's fucking delish. It's true, I love bacon. When it's wrapped around chicken. Stuffed with sausage meat. <laughs> the manager got so pissed, he told Ian to remake them. Apparently, one lettuce comes in the slightest of contact with bacon. Apparently, once lettuce comes in the slightest contact with bacon, it's no longer vegan. I guess they wouldn't want any delicious flavour getting in there. But I thought we could put them to better use. I already gave a few to the homeless woman and the street mime outside. Well, that was very nice. I'm sure she'll appreciate a good sandwich. Do you know what the mime said to me? Nothing. He's a fucking mime. He told me thanks, Betty. I was so disappointed. I thought he'd bow or twirl an invisible top hat or cane or something mammy like that. I would have expected the same. Ian, don't even worry, bruh. Sounds like a shit mime. All mimes are shit, let's face it. But no, he just stepped right out of character and spoke. Thanks, Biddy. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> no. Can you imagine the nerve? Actually thanking you for your nice gesture. I mimed throwing a few dollars in his hat just to make the point. <laughs> Oh, I think you made a point, all right. Well, I saved the last few sandwiches for us. Isn't Ian so considerate? I like him. And if that mind breaks character again, the only thing he'll be getting from me are invisible sandwiches. We'll like to see how he likes those. Probably about as much as he enjoyed your invisible tip. Ooh, Wednesday night. At home. Is he in home? You're putting the finishing touches on your presentation when you hear the sound of someone pounding on a bathroom door. Pounding. Christ, Ian! How long have you been in there? I need to take a shit. If you're jacking it, at least do it with the faucet off. As if our water bill hasn't, wasn't high enough. You hear Ian's voice raise above the sound of the shower. Well, guess what? You just interrupted me. Now i got to start from the beginning with a new visual. Penny yanks your door open. Sorry, I forgot to knock. I'm currently harbouring violent thoughts about my living situation. At least this is our last year of college, though, right? I suppose. Does Ian realise how lucky he is to have friends like us? I mean, do you realise what he wants for his birthday? More butt plugs. It's gonna be, like, finding a preferred needle in a sex shop haystack. <laughs> oh, just get him a get him an, uh, an anal vibrator with a diamond on the end of it. Diamante. Fake diamante. Oh my god, I have to pee so bad. You hear the water shut off. Look at her face. And she runs. Fucking finally, my bladder's about to explode. Knock yourself out. Let me know if there's anything in the shower that needs mopping up. Ugh. Oh, I was kidding. Hey, dude. Hey. You got a moment? For you and your nipples and your happy trail and that stomach, I'll have. I need mean, another. Hmm, yeah, I have a moment. <laughs> sure, what's up? Sorry, I've been kind of testies lately. Testies? 
It's just that, well, I can't believe we're going to be graduating in only a few months. I know it sounds silly, but I had this vision of us making the most of our final semester here, you know? Anyway, I finally have this weekend off, and I'm wondering if you would check out this frat, <gasps> a frat party this Friday night. A frat party? I don't know. Is it with you? Will you hold my hand and make sure nobody makes fun of me? I know it's not exactly your thing, but if you wing for me, I'll wing for you at, like, the gay bar or something. Mmm, that's nice, that's nice. Mm, which frat is it? The Delta Lotta Kappas. I hear they're very LGBT friendly. Really? Oh, that's nice. I don't know. A frat party is a frat party. Come on, dude. <laughs> I can't do this without you. Uh, why not? I guess it can't hurt. I'd rather not. I'm trying to stay away from that whole scene. It's a scene. Fuck me. We'll go there and we'll make it our scene. Sweet. This is gonna be great winging for- This is gonna be great winging for each other, dude. Winging. Alright. Check out the gunboats. I'm not equipped to be the greatest of wingmen. I am not equipped to be the greatest wingman of all time. I completely, what? That's so American, I have no idea what they're talking about now. I know what a wingman is, but winging sounds like a sexual thing. <gasps> oh my god, let's wing. Let's wing together, guys. <laughs> you give your presentation. When you catch your professor checking her phone, you hack a cough and shoot her a dirty glare. God, aren't we full of ourselves? You and Ian leave for the Delta party a bit before ten. The party is in full swing by the time you arrive at the frat house. I can tell. Everybody looks like they're having a fucking rage off. <laughs> That's how I rage. <laughs> rage against the machine. The party is in full swing, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Rock blurs from one room, mingling uneasy with the bass-heavy hip-hop thundering from another and EDM from a third. Students in varying stages of intoxication occupy the rooms in hallways. You can practically taste the air like a snake. That's not what snakes do. That was supposed to be an impression of a snake. Nailed it. The smell of alcohol, unwashed, I can't say this word, guys. And weed permeate the house. You and Ian convene in a less crowded corner of the living room. Look at you, looking fresh. So, tell me something. Those two girls making out in front of a crowd in the kitchen. Is that what you meant by LGBT friendly? Wait, that doesn't count? Mm, I mean, it counts, but... I mean, it's a frat party. Who's not going to be crowding around two girls making out? Come on, dude. I'm kidding. Chill. You look around. Are there even any gay guys in this frat? Um, I'm not sure. I know they weighed each other's balls during rush. What? <laughs> Typical frat stuff. You want me to do something, sl some sleuthing? Fuck yeah. Be my Nancy Drew. No, just forget it. Okay, so we're not trying to get laid here. I get it, I get it. I suppose it doesn't matter since I'm your wingman tonight. That's true. We're all about getting you laid in. Fuck me. Let's do this. What's our game plan, bruh? Alright, those two girls right behind you? I'm gonna go and grab some food and bevs. You make small talk and introduce yourself. What do I say? Talk about how you're here with your best friend. A very handsome, reputable, and much sought after guy. You are much sought after, Ian. I like you. I want you. In my human. What? No! <gasps> Finally we're here! Fuck me, I'm sorry. You'll never even know what happened. I want to meet this guy. Shit up. Look, just emphasize the parts of my character these girls would appreciate. Your abs. Okay. Like being able to masturbate while performing a variety of tasks. <laughs> my erudition. My erudition. Erudition? God, this game has so many words. That I, why have I never heard this word before? My physical prowess. My acts of everyday heroism. Yeah, sure. Hey. I'm giving you full artistic license to exaggerate. Okay. Lie my ass off. Got it. Look, they just shut down another poor schmuck. They're moving this way. Get in there! Ian heads to the refreshments table. You struggle to think of an opener. 
Why did Ian think I'd make a good wingman? Because you're gay. You just talk to the women. Be non-threatening. Tell them you're into penis. <laughs> just straight away. Just introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Nips. I like penis. Can I, can I stand here and talk with you a moment? This is not my scene. That's what you should say. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go well. He's way more extroverted than I am. Hell, here goes nothing. You approach the girls, trying to seem enthusiastic, but not over-eager. Assertive, but not desperate. Friendly, but not cloying. The fuck is that word? How are we doing tonight? Giant smile. Can I get a review something to drink? What are respectable girls like you doing in a place of this ill repute? Nailed it. My father and grandfather were chapter presidents of this fraternity when they were in college. Shit. I'm Nips. I'm here with my friend and roommate, Ian. The girls look in the direction of the food table. They do not look impressed by me. Look at their eyebrows. They look stressed. <laughs> that guy who just shook off his tortilla chip and a punch bowl. Uh, he must have thought it was salsa. <laughs> oh my god, Ian, you're not making this easy. He's a hungry guy. Hungry for pussy. <laughs> You know, I had to drag Ian's butt to this party tonight. Normally he's curled up at this hour reading Lolita in, in the original Russian text. I think that's a bit much, although that is a very interesting read, that book. Hey, it's not his fault. He lost his sense of taste after saving my last life. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like he's with his big heart. Oh, shit. 9.5 inches, ladies. <laughs> if you round down. Okay, what, what should I say, guys? Shall I go with the goofball with the big heart? Or oh, he saved my life. He saved my life. Fuck it. He saved your life? Okay, look. He doesn't like it when I share his past with strangers, but he saved my life a few years ago during a backpacking trip in the Rockies. We were hiking and I got bit by a snake. Oh no. Right in the butt and he had to suck out the venom. <laughs> what kind of snake? Oh shit, they know. In the Rockies? Where is the Rockies? Mmm. An eastern brown snake. <laughs> How frightening. I was terrified. Terrified? Yeah. I felt this incredible pain and half of my body became paralyzed. I should have gone with the diamond back. Because at least I know that's a real snake, right? <laughs> he didn't even hesitate. Before I, I even asked, he sucked out to venom right out of my penis. Ha <laughs> ha! No, better not. We'll go with calf. Why? Although they say you're not supposed to do that. You don't suck out snakes' venom because then you can get poisoned too. You should just tie it off, apparently. I don't know. Chop it off. Chop off the limb. Chop off your penis. The poison permanently destroyed his taste buds. If he'd waited a second longer, I wouldn't be here speaking to you ladies today. What an amazing story. Oh my god, they actually believe it. Holy shit. Uh, especially considering how far a local, or oh, a snake local to Australia would have been. Oh, fuck me, I knew it was wrong. I should have gone with a diamond back. But aren't they in the desert? The desert snakes. I don't know what snakes are in the fucking Rockies. God damn it. Blonde lady. Be smart. Breaking barriers and shit. You're supposed to be dumb. So, well, uh. I'm only alive today because she acted so fast. <laughs> Ian reappears by your side. He hands you a beer. Man, the South has really got that fusion flavor. Nips, Bungle Hole. Did you want me to introduce? Oh, did you want to introduce me to these two ladies? We actually haven't introduced ourselves. Oh, look at the time. We're just on our way out. I'm sorry, Ian. I tried my best. I did. I did not sabotage this for my own personal gain. Oh, dude. Did you at least tell them I can speak? Beginning Esperanto. What? Sorry, Ian. I don't think I make a good wingman. <laughs> Trust me, those girls are not worth the effort. I couldn't click with them for some reason. Let's see who else is around. Um. Sorry. We'll go with sorry. Because I am sorry. <laughs> I tried. I don't think I'm very good at this. Well, it's not over yet. I refuse to give up. We are two dudes on a prowl and I am not going to take this sitting down. I will. <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> Can we go home now? I need a bubble bath. Oh, was it that bad? Phew. You finally got some downtown this weekend. Hey, tits. Fish. My, my, my fish tits. 
fish tits. Awesome. That's like a Chinese delicacy, I do believe. Fish nipples. In terms of your studies, you're close to flunking out. Your relationship with Penny is great these days. You feel grateful for her friendship. Good. You and Ian are getting along great. Awesome. And you finally... Okay, we got many. We got good friendships. I think we will study. Right? Yes. We'll get some studying done. Invite to Nutria Hunting. N nutria Hunting? What? I'm so stupid. Minus $90. I don't think so. Although it could be a funny outcome. But I think we'll do the responsible thing and we will study. You start studying for your midterms. Awesome. All right. Uh, things are starting to get crazy with school. <clears throat> you got midterms this week. Oh, okay, damn. It's going to be studying for tests. Because they're so important in life. Anyway, I'll have to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. I wonder how long's left in this game. I don't know. I don't want it to end yet. I'm having so much fun with it. I can't wait to play it again from the beginning, knowing what I know now. You know. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. Anyway, yes. If you like this episode, hit the like button. You know I appreciate it. And comment. I love your comments. I do try my best to read them all. Be sure to like, subscribe, and guys. Share, like, subscribe, comment, and favorite. And I will see you and your fine nipples in the next episode. Okay? Take care of yourself now. Bye. Yeah. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of my furious finger work. Oh, hold up. Hold up. What? Am I missing something here? What's happening, Naomi? See, I already know this. I'm a fucking genius, bitch. Mary, you don't tell me nothing. Who do you think you are, Mary? Be careful, the baby's in there. <laughs> Watch me rip. Oh, it's a baby. I'm not going to giggle at the word anus every time. Okay, I promise. Continue. Carefully done insert the scope into the patient's anus <laughs> and slowly move it into the colon. <gasps> really? Oh, it's all blurry. I can't see the butthole. What if I miss? What if I get it in her vagina instead?